Broncos faithful, if you're still repping orange and blue, then I'm proud of you. Yay. It's time for this week's edition of Talking Touchdowns, and the Denver Broncos are going to need a lot more than fan support to help them out at this point in the season. This week, they'll pay a visit to the 4-7 Miami Dolphins, who seem to be as in bad a shape as the Denver Broncos are. Let's take a look at the matchup. It seems that both teams have similar storylines, with consistent losing streaks, a weird quarterback rotation, turnovers causing havoc, and even player ejections. The Denver Broncos have run through their options at the quarterback position, most recently naming Paxton Lynch the starting quarterback and proving again that a quarterback change is not going to save this season. But it did give Paxton Lynch the opportunity to prove himself as a starting quarterback. The Miami Dolphins started out with quarterback Ryan Tannehill, but after a season-ending knee injury, Jay Cutler was called upon. And I know how Broncos country feels about Jay Cutler. Now on Sunday, Matt Moore made his second start of the season and made his record on the season 0-2. It seems that one of the consistent storylines to the Broncos' demise is turnovers, and they've suffered 17 of them this season. Now the Dolphins feel the same pain because they've suffered 10 turnovers this season as well. Blame frustration of poor seasons or beef between players, both teams saw unnecessary ejections on Sunday. Broncos cornerback Aqib Tlaib was ejected just minutes into the game against the Raiders on Sunday after he ripped Michael Crabtree's chain right off his neck and proceeded to throw punches. Dolphins cornerback Bobby McCain was also ejected on Sunday after punching Patriots wide receiver Danny Amendola. Now for my game prediction, considering both teams are kind of a hot mess, I'm going Broncos 24, Dolphins 14. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BroncosFGSN.